Hi, I'm Dipti Desai. I'm Professor of Art and Art Education at the, in the Department of Art and Art Professions, NYU Steinhardt. Um, this project, Passport for the Past, was done with my students as a collective in a class I teach called Artistic Activism is Radical Research, and it documents the hidden histories of marginalized groups in and around NYU. Washington Square Park was a lush marshland that ran from the Minneta stream that's down there um, all the way here. Um, it's also known as the land of the blacks. Um, the Dutch settlers um, were um, found the Lenape hostile and were worried that they wouldn't sell crops to them. And so what they did was um, they freed some of the African slaves, uh, African born slaves, and uh, gave them plots of land where they could grow crops and sell it to the Dutch, as well as the profits went to the Dutch East India Company. La Ravista Ilastrada de Nueva York is the building behind, that was the editorial office of this magazine. It's a Latin American magazine that Jose Marti was the editorial director of for the years that he was in exile in New York. The magazine really addresses the relationship between the United States and Latin America and um, became a platform for discussion um, about these issues in um, the, the relationship between the Global North and the Global South. The Harvey Milk School is a public school that is the first one um, worldwide that is uh, for LGBTQ youth and it began in the 1980s at the um, Hedrick Martin Institute which is a gay advocacy institute. This is a safe uh, space for LGBTQ plus um, youth who face harassment in the regular public schools and um, they then come here um, to study. So the New York shirtwaist strike in 1909 took place behind me in Cooper Union. Um, a young 23-year-old woman who was a garment worker, Clara Lemplich, was tired of the union uh, leaders speaking about the, um, the awful conditions of the garment workers and basically just spoke up and said, I'm tired of listening to all these uh, conversations. Um, we're here to call a strike, to say whether we want to strike or don't want to strike. And um, there's a large applause and um, a strike was called right away. And the next day, 20 to 30,000 women workers, mainly women workers, went on strike. The strike lasted till 1910. It was the longest strike uh, by women. And um, eventually, uh, the day of the strike became International Women's Day.